online shopping addiction. According to PwC in its Total Retail Survey 2016 report, nearly three-fifths of respondents in Malaysia reported buying online only within the last three years. Top three sectors using online shopping are fashion and accessories 16%, home and living 15%, and health and beauty 13%. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone Welcome to my YouTube channel And today, in this video, I would like to share with all of you About a social issue that happened in our society Which is online shopping addiction The phenomenon of online shopping has grown all over the world Actually, what causes online shopping to become so addictive? Customers use the internet for their shopping Due to the benefits that they get You know like they don't have to go to the shopping mall or market to shop so they can save their money, energy and also time. Just when we thought online shopping was addictive, along came mobile shopping apps that are easily downloadable on smartphones, making shopping more addictive such as Zalora, Lazada and Shopee. The study also shows at 47%, Malaysia is ranked at 6 in the top 10 of markets globally for the use of mobile phones to shop online after Philippines, Vietnam, Indonesia and so on. Now, what are the symptoms of online shopping addiction? How can we know that we are actually addicted to online shopping? So let me share to all of you about the symptoms of online shopping addiction in terms of physical, mental and emotion. In mental aspect, the symptoms of online shopping addiction is anticipation. This means that you feel an urge to shop and you cannot stop thinking about it. You cannot even focus on other things because you will think about online shopping all the time. Do you know that this is a very serious and bad symptom, especially for students? This is the proof of people who are addicted to online shopping. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I have a serious problem. I am an online shopping addict. Yes, ever since I downloaded the Shopee app, I haven't been able to focus in class because I always scroll through the discounts and I always become anxious waiting for my parcel to arrive. In physical aspects, the symptom of online shopping addiction is preparation. You may spend a considerable time searching for fashion trends and sales. So in this situation, you are actually in an environment that's been optimized to grab your attention and a share of your wallet. You will spend less time doing other things that you enjoy because of online shopping, because you are addicted to it. Next, also in physical aspects, the symptom of online shopping is, addiction is, you will start to hide things that you buy from other people because you're afraid that other people will feel and will feel it is unreasonable and a waste of money you'll start to hide your financial situation and debt now let us move to the symptom of online shopping addiction in emotional aspect which is you will get anxious before a purchase you will be worried about the products that you want is it out of stock or you will always think is it worth for me to buy this or Will I be regret if I, if I don't buy this? So now you can see that online shopping has become a problem to yourself. The next symptom is you will feel relief or euphoria after a purchase. But at the same time, you will feel a lot of regret and guilt at the same time about your buying behavior, but your buying habits. But you cannot stop buying online because you have addicted to it. You also will feel so depressed when the thing that you buy, the thing that you purchased, is not like the one that you are expecting. For as a conclusion, these are all the symptoms of online shopping addiction. Be careful, if you experience all or most of these symptoms, it is possible that you are addicted to online shopping. Online shopping is good, but addiction to it will bring a lot of disadvantages compared to advantages. It is not about how much money you make, it's about how you save it. So, dear friends, be moderate in all of the things that you do in your lives, as Islam teaches us moderation. With that, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you for watching.